Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we just completed a bit of a loop down to, oops, if I can zoom out, the Utter Shroom and over to Hideaway, up to Irem, nearly running out of fuel several times, that was exciting. And we are back in London, and I have submitted all of our port reports and restocked our supplies, and it is time for us to take a tour of London. And we're going to check out the new recruits here. And it looks like we have the Genial Magician. Good. Good. We want this guy because he'll get us a nice engine. Not the, quote, best engine, but pretty good. And he is... I forget. What is he? He is a chief engineer. Okay. So we don't... He doesn't really give us anything in particular... I like the fuel efficiency of the tireless mechanic more. So we're going to keep him. She's pretty decent too. Gets you a little bit more engine powder. Powder. Or power, as it were. <laughs> Words have a have meaning. And that's pretty cool. I think we're going to spend some time with our family. Because we are really high on terror. Ah, let's read our morning papers. Lost one terror. Excellent. Time with family. Lost another day. Let's... Ooh. We have an outlandish artifact. Let's tell them about far-off lands. Okay. Lost 20 terror. Perfect. All right. So I think today we are going to... Kind of... Actually, you know what we're going to do. We're going to head back in here. I forgot. We have access to this. So we can buy a live specimen. It's kind of pricey, but we are sitting on a pretty good pile of money. So I'm kind of feeling like we should buy that. And we should be able to talk to the Clattery Heir and let her use that. Wait, really? We can't use a live specimen? Well, I guess we are 500 Echoes poorer now, which is just great. Love it. <laughs> I guess we're going Blemigan hunting again. Let's grab a bunch of firkins of Prisoner's Honey. And let's go and hit up the Utter Shroom again, I guess. And so that's that. And looks like we're ready to go here. How is our cargo doing? We're pretty full. So I think we're going to hit the Utter Shroom. We'll sort of go straight there. And then we will hit up a couple other places. As I think of them, I'm thinking probably Wither. So we can get Salt's attention and then go to the Salt Lions with the Knack Race Outcast. And you know what? Maybe we'll do that first. Let's hit up Vendor Bite. We'll hit up Wither. Get a couple port reports, bring him back. And then we'll hit the Utter Shroom. Let's go ahead and do that. That sounds like a good plan. It's been a while since we've been to Vendor Bite and with her anyway. All right. Hello, Vendor Bite. It's been a little while. And let's see. We can visit that restaurant if we want to. Let's gather our gossip first. Ah, oh, there is a bit of a story here. You can do with the last tour operator if you have a lot of supplies. And... This can be interesting. This is also a good way in the earlier game to start learning about places under here in the Undersea. Let's see. Let's go ahead and let's visit a certain little restaurant. Now, we've been here before previously, where we met the Bandit Poissonnier, and he seeks passage. What's goofy to me is that, like, you have to pay him. He's like, I want to ride in your ship. Okay, come aboard. You gotta pay me. It's like, wait wait a second. I'm paying you to ride on the ship? <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. We have today's special, which is a matter of luck. Let's offer a strange catch. They'll pay you a small fee. Okay, sure, why not? We are fortunate. Gain three supplies and five echo. Okay. Not terribly interesting, but it's there. And looks like we can do that again, too. I might just to get rid of the strange catch. Since we 
didn't really have a use for it, and we don't have a big hold at the moment anyway. Let's go ahead, we'll explore Vendor Bite. What? We got a... Wow, okay. We got a long box. <laughs> and I don't think we can long box you again, can we? Oh, we can! Okay, well... Bye-bye Blenigans, I guess. We now have nine... Souvenirs. And... We can speak to her, so no Blenigans needed. Wow, that was... That was very much worth it. Okay. Let's push her about meeting her father. Try to convince her that her father is not Mr. Iron. She's clinging to this idea. Hard to let go. Her mother is not the concubine of a master. Her father will never bring her knife steel tempered and baby jar. Her lineage is merely human. Her city is only the mortal city that first fell into the bazaar. She must give up waiting for an unimaginable future to blossom of its own accord. The two of you speak about it late into the night, and then she goes into her operating room with a scalpel and a mirror. When she comes out, she has her small toe preserved in a whiskey jar, and a happy indifference to the question of her parentage. We've succeeded, we've got a clattery souvenir again, and there's that. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So it looks like we can probably go hit Frostbound. But, but, but. Uh, I'm going to actually buy some things here. Um, let's buy a couple more of these because when we do get the new ship... Of course, we don't get it yet. I think it meets us in Port Carnelian. But at least we will have the supplies to sustain ourselves. Let's go and hit Wither. We'll see if we can get Salt's attention. And then we will... Ugh. Bats. No one loves you, bats. Go away. Boop. There you go. Oh, and a storm. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll go to Frostbound right from Wither, and that should be that. Let's see. Uh, let's reduce terror. We're pretty high on terror. And let's see if we can kind of skirt around this storm. I don't know that we can... Where are we? There we are. But I'll see all of you up in Wither, unless one of those giant uh, lifebergs comes and smashes us to bits. All right, we made it to Wither, relatively safe and sound. And here we are. So, Wither, we can explore the town. Let's gather intelligence. This is expensive, as I recall. Let's get our port report. Any shops, of course, requires weird stuff. Um, Don't really need any of that. The House of the Question. We want to gain Salt's attention. What do we need here? We need a Z story. I didn't think we were out of Z stories. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, we have Memories of Distant Shores. Okay. And Tales of Terror. Can I trade any of these? We'll earn you zero Z stories. Why would I, why would I sell this? <laughs> I just dump it over overboard. Okay, well, we're not getting assault attention anytime soon, I guess. So, unfortunate. But let's go. We'll hit up Codex, and then we'll hit Frostbound and get us on the way to having a much, much more potent ship. Hello, Codex. Land of the... This is the stone-throwing monkeys, as I recall. There we go. Codex. So, only thing to do here is acquire a Dune Monster Hunter or buy expensive stuff and get a port report. So, Frost found. And uh, here we come. And here we are. 
Frostbound is a chancy challenge. Really? Okay. Let's get our port report. Why are you a chancy challenge? Looking in Frostbound, okay. We failed. We gained one terror. Your future investigations, okay. There, in the ice! The catch up might be a hull or might be a very large gizzard. The clattery air turns away from the shape of the, in the ice. No, it's just a boulder, she says. Probably won't find it here. It doesn't matter, of course. Okay, so I guess we try again. Okay. I'm not sure what the point of that was, but okay. And we have read this before, so I'm just going to let you take a read on it yourself if you want. Let's chancy challenge. Let's talk to her. I won't give up on the ice for now as my cat crawls across my shoulders and complains in my ear. Let's talk to her. Let's increase our hearts. Okay. So let's go see what that gets us. That was 58%, I think. Um, can extract heart. Okay. 1% per. Okay. Ugh. Oh boy. Um, hmm. I feel like this like wasn't as much of a challenge before. Was it because our hearts was higher, or was there another part of the quest that we should have done? Okay. So, it succeeded, I guess. That's good. It's very good. It's not dead. <laughs> and it is waiting for us in Port Carnelian. So, let's take tea, get some supplies and fuel, lose some terror, which is always great. And we are not going to enter Frostbound. There really isn't a point to enter it unless you are doing the Tireless Mechanics quest, which is good to do. But we're not quite there yet. That is, I think, for the Fulgent Impeller? I don't recall. But let's go hit up London again. I'm going to restock, I'm going to refuel, and then I'll see all of you down in Port Carnelian. All right, folks, I have stopped off in London and set out once again. I am just my... Okay, weird. Anyway, as I was saying, I was just heading out to head to Port Carnelian, and I can take a look here. Just stopping by a few places. Gain ten fragment. Cool. And let's get our port report. Why not? So we'll see what crisis Quaker's Haven goes through this time around. I think I mentioned before that there's sort of four different crises that Quaker's Haven can have. We got the Conate Invasion last time. And I don't really know what the difference is. Honestly, it's been so long since I last played that I don't know if there is a difference. Oh, hello. What are you? Hello, crack pirates. A.K.A. Plumber's Pirates. Oops, no battle. Ah, darn it. Press the wrong darn button. You want a target, please? There we go. And... No, thank you. Ow! Listen, buddy. I'm about to ditch this ship forever. So you know what? If you're going to bang it up, that's your own problem. Boom. Oh, one, really? Love it. All clear. Let's get our cache of curiosities. What do we got? We got a bolt of parabola linen. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky at Gators Moor and get some strategic information or not. While this jaunty music serenades us. 
And here we are. Let's see what we get. Gather intelligence. We failed, lost a crew. Gained five terror. Wow, okay. You and one of your more villainous looking sailors to win a dice game. Villainous looking. But you know for a fact that she tithes to charity and has a delightful singing voice. The topic turns promisingly to pillage and ambush, but your sailor is a little too forward with her questions. There's a scuffle and a stabbing. You escape. She does not. Okay. Bye, sailor. Let's explore the morn. What do we have today? Ooh, we have uh, various interesting options. Ooh. Do you have anything more robust? The vendor winks and produces a usefully anonymous skewer of meat. Mmm. Need an iron, lost five hunger, and we are now even more unaccountably peckish. That particular hunger, now satisfied, how rich and red. <laughs> okay, let's get down to Port Carnelian. I'll probably grab a port report at the Mangrove College. And then let's get our clattery heart going on. All right, folks, at long last, we are here. <laughs> What a quest to get this clattery heart twice. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and dock. And let's get the clattery heart. Let's consult her. What will she do with the clattery heart? So she's still thinking about leaving. Looks like I am becoming involved, she confesses. I may need to become my own patient. Okay, and remove my interest in the clattery heart. She looks resolute. Okay, okay, so here we go. We can sink the clattery heart. All right. So, I don't know why... This is different from this, like... She's already given up enough. I feel like this is probably the safer one to do, just in case that she's like, nah, nah fam, I'm good. Um, why shouldn't she serve, a, serve you aboard the Clattery Heart? Yeah, I don't know. Keep the Clattery Air and sail her ship together. Let's find out what happens. Okay, cool. So this actually works out well. We keep her, okay. The loss of the legend of Mr. Iron. You suggest this neat solution to her. She doesn't need to renounce anything else. She has given up believing in her father, and that's enough. Perhaps, she says, I could regard him as an, more as an honorary family member. Do you think I could call him Uncle Iron? But she agrees to let you keep the clattery heart and to stay on with your crew. Okay, excellent. Although, it looks like she didn't transform into... Now, I don't know if she does transform into the clattery something or other. But let's go ahead and get a port report. Let's get some more supplies and things. Let's talk to a tiger, why not? Get our port report. Uh, let's pamper sapphires, why not? We gained a tail of terror and one terror. That's good enough for me, honestly. And we don't have much terror, so we're good there. Um, as far as what to do next. So we just got the Clattery Heart. I think what I want to do is let's sell this, because I don't really need that clogging up my inventory. Let's buy some Dark Drop Coffee Beans here. And probably some supplies and some fuel. We'll need that. We have a ton of mouths to feed now at 32. So I think what I'll do is let's buy this. What's our cargo looking like? We have 45 out of 80. And let's buy a few more of these. Let's do that. That should do. And I want to leave enough room for let's do seven. Let's do seven boxes of sunlight. So, oh, I miscounted. 
So I can buy six more. I can buy nine more. That should do. We can go and start selling this up on the surface. We can get our sunlight going on. And that way we will have a lot of money if I can press the right button again. There we go. So we're going to go to Con Shadow, buy us some boxes full of sunlight. And from there, we'll be able to probably pretty heavily jumpstart our way into being able to buy the main ad. So I know we just got this Clattery Heart. It's a great ship. But I do think I want to go for the main ad next um, and use the Clattery Heart to speed along that process. So I'm also going to full power to the engines here. Yeah, it, it burns through fuel pretty badly, but I kind of want to lose some crew because losing crew is actually hard to do in this game unless you really try it. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Unlocked with no more serpentine. Wow, okay, that was not really worth it. All right, I guess we will not use the go quickly button. Apparently we're still green here, though, somehow. All right, well, I'll see all of you up in Con Shadow, and we'll get us some empty boxes for sunlight, mirror catch boxes, and then we will head over to the surface. Here we go, folks. Since we're already here... We may as well try taking on a couple beasties. Can I back up fast enough to avoid being struck? Maybe. To definite maybe. Of course, we have plenty of hull, so... It's gonna be much of an issue. And this guy is not putting up much of a fight. What the heck? Hello. Oh, what I'd give for a forward weapon. And, well, that was not very impressive. We do have the Alsace class Corvette here, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. So we can rescue a new Jonah, whatever that is. Interesting. We can butcher it or dissect it. I don't know what the better thing to do is. Do we want to do that? Let's try this. <gasps> A hunting trophy. Oh, good. Okay. Um, yes. Let's go ahead and eat it. Why not? Yum. So that's how we can get some hunting trophies, finally. It's been a long time since I've seen one of those things in my hold. Let's go ahead and do the Corvette here. Come on, pirate, poet, princess. Oh, get back here. Get. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yes, indeed. Hello. Boop. Clunk. And that's right. I forgot. We, we actually got a boost to our engine power because of the Clattery Heart. It has like a hidden either 250 or 500 boost to your engine power. Ow. It doesn't really hurt that much, honestly, given how much hull we have. There we go. Now let's investigate. You could fish her out again, but she said herself, said herself the last time you crossed paths, she'd hate to have spread the word that you've gone soft. Um, Let's just get our money. That's kind of what I want here. All right. So now, <laughs> back on our way to Con Shadow. That was a nice little break, though. And a pretty good de sort of demonstration of the Clattery Heart's improved hull, giving us a lot more leeway in taking damage in battle. What I don't know yet, and I guess we'll find out when we go back to London, is how much does it cost us to fix the hull? Actually, you know what? Let's use one supply here. So if we use one supply, we still only get five hull per supply. Okay, that's not very worth it. So the question then will be... 
when we repair at the shipyard, does it cost us a lot more? I don't know. I guess we'll be finding out soon, won't we? So Krabby Crab. These won't give us any hunting trophies, so I'm going to skip that. And we don't have a long box right now. But I guess we could stop at the depot. I don't think there's anything, anything to do here, though. Let's take a look here. What do we got? Deliver a long box. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we succeeded. There have been people here. Bye. So long boxes in vendor bite. Good to know. It's a pretty small chance, as I recall. I think it was like a 10 or 15% chance to get the long box while exploring vendor bite. So I wouldn't rely on it exclusively if you're desperate for a long box. Now you will notice that our fuel use hasn't really changed because the, well, it has a little bit, I think, because the added engine power from the clattery heart, which helps sort of counteract its weight difference, does suck down more fuel. We do still have a relatively efficient engine though. It's just not the, the elderly steeple engine is actually the most efficient engine as far as distance traveled per fuel used, no matter what your ship weight is. The serpentine engine, which I do want to get here soon, doesn't, it's 10% bonus to efficiency, doesn't really make up for its engine power, but it is basically the second or third or tied for third most efficient engine. The fulgent impeller is also pretty good too. Hello, you. Let's, uh, Give you a bit of uh, iron, huh? What do you say? What say you? I'm just gonna... Keep shooting until you're gone, I guess. Later, my dude. I love their rickety sounding boat. I'm just gonna ram you, because I can, apparently. <laughs> and... Boop! Loot and scuttle. What did we get? Some spider silk. Okay. It's not too awful. I recall those caches being a little more generous in the past, but maybe I'm just imagining things. But we are almost at Con Shadow, which will give us our empty boxes. Then we can go and do bad things, and hopefully, hopefully not blast our eyeballs out. Now, I am going to be a lot more careful this time, for one. Uh, I am going to not let our uh, yearning burning get over 160 this time. And if somehow we do end up in a cascade, after the second opening of a box, I will chuck the rest overboard just to stop that. Oh, interesting. So we can get four watchful curios for one hunting trophy. That's okay. Let's get a port report. How's our cargo? Oh, we're golden on cargo here. We do have some prisoner's honey, stygine ivory that they don't want. Okay. I can't really sell anything else here. That's okay. Mile breaker. Fuel efficiency. No, I don't want you. That's okay. All right, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should let us do four runs of sunlight and then be done. We should just be done with it by then. Well, four runs, and then we can actually remove it with the clattery air and then do four more. And that should keep us below 160, even accounting for the variability in how much uh, sunlight yearning you get. And then we should be good. Let's do this. Uh, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna head over to the command canal straight away. 
we may have to make the acquaintance of the blind bruiser first. I didn't think of that. So we'll have to be a little bit careful. We have plenty of dark drop coffee beans to make some money up at the surface. And let's see what we can do. I'll meet all of you over at the canal. Okay, everyone, so I kind of lied a bit. I stopped by Shepherd Isles on the way to the Command Canal. And since we have a hunting trophy, it looks like we have an opportunity to trade it for another Soothing Cooper long box. I don't know if we want to, but I'm going to anyway. There we go. So, yeah. That way, if we need to get into Station 3 again, we certainly can. And I might do it anyway, just to sort of start opening that place up again a little bit. I'm going to stop at Abbey Rock. I'll get a port report there and then Command Canal. Here we come. Okay, here we are at the Albertine Gates. Let's get up here. And I'm going to, let's see, get our port report. I'm going to listen for service gossip. And that will expend our something awaits you. I want to try something. We have seven already. Oop. All right. That's fine. Lost our terror, which is great. Let's go to Naples. And this is technically, I think, a place where you can... Yeah, you can lose crew. So... Then when we die, this includes you. Yeah, I know. Um, let's do... How much fuel do we have? It doesn't even say... Buy our train ticket to Vienna. And let's establish a business relationship. All right. Gained 80 Echo and deliver some coffee. Yeah, baby. All right. Now, we could do the revolution stuff with the, uh, the, the anarchists in London, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to report them so it happens. Nice. Okay. His idealism burns worryingly bright. Besides, you might turn a profit from informing on him. A dinner with a gentleman from the Bureau. A fierce old fellow listens intently to your account and dispatches agents to arrest the agitator. We are grateful, he says. I shall not insult you by offering you payment, but I must invite you to dine with me before you leave. No payment? But the dinner conversation is rich with valuable information. Perhaps the old fellow is using you as a pawn in some scheme of his own. No matter. The Admiralty would love to hear this. So we could turn that into vital intelligence, which is great. And I think we're good here. Back to Naples. And we are going to... see. We have 10 fuel. Or we have 11 fuel. So we can... Carry some cargo around. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Guess we lost a crew. We gained 500 Echo. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Fuel is not so cheap up here, but it's actually not that bad, honestly. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's buy some supplies. And let's ferry some more cargo. So this is... There we go. Now we're losing some crew. Which is what I wanted to do here. I think I'll do that one more time. So let's buy some more fuel. And let's do some more cargo. We're unlucky. Lost three crew. Cool. So we are going to be no longer burning through as many supplies, which is the whole purpose of that exercise. But let's go ahead and we are going to buy some more fuel. Because as I recall, it actually is a little cheaper up here than downstairs. Let's see, 10 supplies. How many do we have? We have 11. Let's leave it like that for now. How much fuel do we have? We have two fuel, so let's go ahead and buy some more fuel. Oops. I wanted to buy the 10 fuel, not just the one. Oop, okay, that's great. Oop, what happened? Uh oh, <laughs> I think I broke something, <laughs> guys. <laughs> uh oh, 
Okay, well, I'm going to return to Avernus. There we go. Yep, I broke something there. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to fill all seven of these boxes. Light is a wonder, light is a glory. Okay. Return below. Alright, so what's fuel here? Yeah, fuel's 20 here, so you do want to make sure you buy it up there rather than down here. Okay, so how is our sunlight doing? Let's see, it's somewhere down here. There it is. We have 46. Okay, so we can do that basically uh, two and a half more times. I might do it two more times and see what it looks like at that point. Here, we're going to try the full power thing and see if that gets us to London before our something awaits you pops up. If it doesn't, we'll just go and hit up the sisters up at the Hunter's Keep. But let's see how that does. We have basically one minute to get there. I'll turn my light off too over here. And I don't know if I want to hit full power again at the moment. Let's try it. Let's do it. Why not? There we go. Full power. Kablooey! Lost 91 hall. That's okay. The hall's still showing green here, which I'm a little suspicious of. But let's go ahead and we're going to do it again. I think I'm done with that, though. We're getting a little close on uh, hall there. Ah, okay, so we got something that awaits you. So let's go hit the sisters. Well, not hit. Let's go hit up the sisters <laughs> up at uh, the keep. And let's see if we can dump our something that awaits you there. Turn our lights back on temporarily. And that should give us plenty of time to get back here. Oh, absolutely. It'll be no problem whatsoever. I think I'm going to restart my game after this because that's a little concerning. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit, uh, a little bit buggy over here. But let's go ahead and we're going to stop in here. Hello. Yes, let's do luncheon with the sisters. We don't have news. Let's get our port report. Why not? Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Lost some terror. Gained a supply. Ah, oh, we have Stone's attention. Oh, that's how we can get Salt's attention. Okay. Okay, cool. I think if we dine with the first sister, Cynthia, I think we can get Salt's attention. But let's get our little butts back to port. Oops, wrong button. Am I angled properly? I think I am. And that way, we should no longer need to worry about the taxman. Although, I'm, we might need the blind bruiser. We should meet the blind bruiser because we have fewer than nine fuel. I just don't know if we need something that waits you for the first meeting with him. I guess I'll find out in a minute here. Come on, come on, come on. What do we got? Let's dock. All right. Hey, we did it. Okay, sweet. All right, so we should be able to... Let's see. What's our hold look like? Hold is pretty empty, actually. Okay, so we will take his little gift. This kicks off the sort of storyline of this. Sure, I'll take the dispensation. Why not? We did gain suspicion, which is not great. But we should be able to. Here we go. There we go. Oh, we could do it in one in one transaction. Oh, you bet. You bet, son. Oh man. So the thing with the bind bruiser is we we can basically keep trading with him until we well can't anymore. Obviously, as far as sunlight goes. 
But as long as we don't come back with something away to you, he won't have a mission for us. And I don't want a mission from him until we're done with all that. Once we've traded all of our money or all of our sunlight to him, got our money, maybe even bought the main ad, then we can go ahead and come back with something, something that waits you and do his missions. And that will then get us along some other interesting storylines. There are, there is a deeper storyline with the blind bruiser and his patron. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these. Sure, why not? We failed, that's fine. <laughs> Main Canal, Mangrove College, Port Cornelian, Fathom King's Hold, Con Shadow, Quaker's Haven. Whew, boy, that was a lot. And then I think we will, let's turn this into, oh, we need, oh, we need two strategic information. Okay, I thought we needed one. That's fine. Well, that was lucrative. How's our sunlight doing here? Shouldn't have changed yet. 46. We have no terror. We have... How much fuel do we have? 26. Yeah, I think we're going to start up next episode by doing a couple runs of sunlight. Maybe even doing some coffee. I'll probably just buy coffee here, because it's less of an issue than going down to the uh, Port Carnelian. And... Yeah, I think we're going to be well on our way to making some money, buying us the main ad over here, which is 15,000 Echoes. And it will take the deed to the Clattery Heart, but I think we can get that back basically by just coming back here and picking it up again. Or we might just have to go down to Port Carnelian to do that. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. This is probably my favorite ship in the game because it is... Pretty strong, has good hold capacity. It's got a forward deck slot. It doesn't have the crushing quarters of the Chatelog Dreadnought. So it actually has fewer quarters than the Clattery Heart, too. So fewer echoes spent on supplies. But everyone, that is going to do it for this episode of Sunless Sea. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, my name is Hasman Kurazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.